Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is a bonus reading. You and Cancer and Libra all got bonus readings this week for being the highest liked and watched videos this week. So thank you so much, uh, you guys, because you know, it's really hitting the like that causes the views. So if we have a highest viewed video, it's because you guys are hitting the like for it. So I appreciate it. And that's the only thing that keeps the channel going. So thank you guys so much for hitting the like. Please do not forget to hit the like on this bonus reading as well. We want to keep this channel growing. All right. Thank you so much. All right. The Sacred Temple. What a great card. Spirit and angels. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? Stuck energy. And look at that bottom of the deck, the milestone event. So this is an event card and it's a milestone. And this is an energy card and it's stuck energy. And this is a spirit card and it is sacred temple. There's something here you're being guided right out of. And it's going to be a big milestone in your life. Something big's going to happen that's going to help you achieve something. And it really is like it looks like you're achieving like a prize, a graduation, something. Um, and it has to do with this rainbow behind this person's back. This person feels really stuck. But there's actually a rainbow back there and it is part of your spiritual sacred temple and it, a spirit card. I feel like you've got a whole team back there working for you, pulling you out of this in some way. Um, I feel like there's going to actually be something that causes, it's like almost like spirit steps in and pushes in some way. Let's find out what it is. This was the quantum oracle. We're also using the, the uh, light seers tarot and we're going to be using the wheel of the year. All right, and we might do some after tarot too at the very end to see where it goes next if we have some time, okay? Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? Sagittarius bonus reading. We're calling it a weekly reading because it's the week between the two-week reading that I put out last week. So that one's still in effect as well. If you haven't seen it, I'll attach it to the end of this video for you to watch. Spirit and angels. I'll also put your February... Um, monthly there because soon I'm going to be working on your March monthly. So that's a heads up to you guys next week in the next week or two, next week or so, week and a half, I will be putting out monthly readings for you guys. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? Sagittarius reading for anyone who's guided. Sagittarius reading, anything could come out right to the last second. This reading's for anyone with Sagittarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see it for whatever reason you're here could be your reading what do we need to know six of cups reversed so it was something in the past that got you in this stuck energy or something that happened in um even could have happened around this is a really family oriented six of cups so it could have been something that happened around family um, or a soulmate of some kind. Six of Swords came out. You have two sixes now. What else do we need to know? The event card is a six card as well. And this all says to me that you're leaving the fives behind. Uh, spirit card is a five card. Fives mean change. And then you're moving into all these sixes, which is excellent. This is the way we want to see this energy, really. Tell me about this. Um, yeah, absolutely. The star card. Gorgeous. What else do we need to know? Sagittarius reading for anyone who's guided. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, we're talking about happiness here at the bottom of the deck. Ten. Oh, I did not see that behind there. There's two cards here. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We have a. We're going to keep them together because that was a hidden, um, hidden card behind the Queen of Pentacles. All right, I'm going to show you them in the upright. They're both reversed the moon where somebody is drowning in their emotions with the queen of pentacles both reverse and this moon was hidden behind her so you could have a lot of emotions that are kind of um you or someone else and it doesn't matter your gender here but whoever's coming through in this queen of pentacle energy as someone who's really been through something um, it's been emotional and feeling really stuck because of these emotions is what i'm getting here um the whole foundation of your reading is about happiness and joy with the ten of cups here and we also have the six of swords here 
and the six of swords is all about moving to a place of peace and happiness right so there is and look at how the sun is i mean i'm sorry the star is right next to it this really makes me feel like you're going to be moving into a different kind of energy. I feel this is your energy back here, this Queen of Wands in reverse, who also is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, who's been going through something very emotional. There is an Ace of Pentacles on the horizon. It's in reverse, but it's right here saying, I'm about to come in for you. We just got to figure out how to get it to come in for you. Um, right next to this energy is the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups, both in the reverse. I feel like, again, you're hiding your emotions. Again, you're hiding your emotions. People don't know how very emotional something has been for you or how you really feel stuck. Um, and this is why you got a whole spirit team here trying to help you because this is like hidden. It's almost like hidden energy. There's something that could have happened in the past that kept you, uh, that you've had a hard time coming out of it. Okay, let's see what we can find out. We've got the wheel of the year. Let's find out what happens. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know about this reading for Sagittarius? And if this isn't you, Sag, this could be a person around you who's really gone through something um you know they can be a feminine but they definitely don't have to be this could be anyone this could be you and it doesn't matter your gender but somebody who's really gone through something emotional it's definitely stemming with something family related i'm getting all right let's get some information and they might be hiding their emotions or you might be um but you're heading towards something way better oh absolutely we just got it and it has to do with you hitting this big milestone and getting unstuck there's spiritual intervention here tell me about the six of swords here how are we getting to this peaceful place six of swords what do we need to know sagittarius reading central issue six of swords please central issue there you go look at that the princess of cups taking time to smell the roses she's smelling a flower very light-hearted very easy feeling very new energy this is exactly what kind of energy you want to move into that you will be moving into let's look at the star tell me about the star please beautiful sagittarius reading tell us about the star what is it we need to know about it yeah, absolutely. Look at that. These, this is more than I would have hoped to come out, but the Ace of Cups was on top of the pile and that's what I saw immediately. It is, it is your new beautiful beginning coming in for you. It could have been after a time of a lot of emotions with the moon here that you were holding on to with the four pentacles that you're now going to release. There could have been some kind of injustice or something that just felt really off balance for you. I feel like you did go through a very difficult time in your life. This feels like a time of emotional stuckness and um, difficulties getting past something, but you're finally doing it with the help of spirit, God, universe. This has been part of your temple path, which means that you've been on a journey. Tell me about the six of cups reverse here. Six of cups in the reverse. Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's your card, Sagittarius. Uh, so this is a time of forward movement. So if you were stuck in something from the past, but it feels more emotional than anything, you're finally going to bust free of that because you've already been there. See how long the hangman stayed? You stayed there for so long that you're, look at the hangman's legs are icicles because of they've been in this position a, a stuck energy um so the hangman is an important um tool we go into this position the hangman puts themselves into this position purposefully to see things from another perspective and to gain see the enlightenment coming through here to gain enlightenment for growth there's a spiritual purpose to the hangman position putting ourselves like this for x amount of time but if we stay in it too long we actually have become now stuck and this is where you've been. You've been in the stuck in something. Something from the past has kept you planted, stuck, unable to budge. And you're finally taken off. And this is a Sagittarius card. You are finally busting free of this. It's like you are milestone. This is a, a graduation for you. You're graduating. It's been part of your spiritual temple. It's been part of your spiritual path to gain this information, enlightenment, or whatever. 
let's look at the emotional um there's a lot of emotional cards here i'm going to do these five and seven of swords together and i'm going to do the queen of pentacles and moon in fact i'm going to do them all together because they're saying exactly the same thing they're saying i've been hiding seven of swords how emotional this has been for me i this was hidden behind the queen of pentacles i come off like the queen of pentacles but I'm actually drowning in these emotions. These say exactly the same thing to me. And the Ace of Pentacles sits between them in the middle of saying this new beginning can come for you. But we're going to look at all this emotional, hidden emotional influences that's been going on, that's been keeping you stuck in something from the past. Tell me about this five and you might not even realize this you might not it sometimes this kind of an energy comes through when we don't even know what it is that's bothering us or keeping us stuck tell me about the moon reversed and the seven of swords reversed and the five of cups reversed and the queen of pentacles reversed i want to know all about this energy of <laughs> absolutely no worries spirit has got you i got chills immediately spirits in the house this is part of your temple path and they got you. They're going to help you become unstuck. That rainbow behind you, you don't see. This, this is your rainbow behind you, you don't see. They're pulling you out of this. You are getting pulled out of what has held you back so that you can have your gorgeous new beginning that has been waiting for you. Like I said, it sits smack dab in the middle right there between all this. It's like it's in the middle. It's like a, a rose in the middle of your thorns. Let's take a look at your rose here. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles here reversed. Is there anything in particular we need to know about it for Sagittarius? This is your energy, Sag, to the Temperance card. It's a timing thing. It could be about balance in your life. Tell me your own energy is all over your reading, which is really the way we want to see it. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please, here reversed. Anything in particular we need to know for anyone with Sagittarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see this reading? For whatever reason, they're here. Okay, the Knight of Cups reverse came out. I feel like this is something that hasn't happened yet because it's still, and this might not even have been, this might be an offer coming in that just hasn't come in yet, but I'm gonna take another peek at it. It could be work for some of you, uh, Three of Pentacles, if something happened. So even though this has affected you in your home and family sector, it could still be something about money or work that has really been painful that you could have went through something that was emotional at work we this happens to people i want to take a peek at the knight of cups reverse with the ace of pentacles because i feel like this knight is bringing in that pentacle or that cup or both ace of pentacles reverse knight of cups reversed what is most important three of swords nine of wands wounded warriors so this has to do with protection this has to do again with something emotional that happened that has held you back from your new opportunities so whatever happened that caused you to be stuck in the hangman that caused you to feel like you are drowning in emotions that makes you hide your emotions from everyone and how you've been feeling whatever happened was this three of swords and this three of swords is blocking your new opportunities from coming in so we definitely got to work on you getting into this more light-hearted energy and getting yourself unstuck so you can accept the cup the cup's coming in for you um and the star wish fulfillment but it has to do with a block that's been put in place let's see how we get unblocked i'm going to grab the after tarot to see what it is that's next here tell me more about what we need to know for sagittarius and what's next here and getting out of this emotional stuckness what's next the knight of swords forward movement and the page of wands leaving the past behind this is a sagittarius card see how this uh page walks away from the past whatever this was that kept you stuck and spirit says move away from it same exact energy full speed ahead another night all the fastest nights in the deck are coming out for you as you leave behind something that has held whatever this is held you back whether it's something you're still in or it's just an energy of something that's held you back all right so what do we need to do how does sagittarius do this they just bust free bust forward what is is there anything else we need to know bust free bust forward leave something in the past i don't yeah absolutely same exact kind of energy 
in this deck, this seven of pentacles takes the their pentacle with them and leaves the rest in the past. Like, I don't even care. I just need to move forward. You know, it's okay if we have to leave something behind. That's okay because you've got what you need and that's your sanity and yourself. And you've got, you know, at least you have something that you're moving forward with. And that's what I see when I look at this card, but I'm going to look at another one. Can we get one more card here for Sag? Is there any advice on that seven of pentacles right there? Is there anything advice on it? Seven of Pentacles. Or can you tell us what's next? Yeah, absolutely. Eight of Cups. This really feels to me like the cups were empty. See how she goes back to see what was in the cups and they all look really empty. Um, so when eight of cups move towards your ace of cups, move towards the ace of cups really is waiting and the ace of pentacles as well is waiting for you, but it's been very hard for you because the three of swords is that painful past situation that kept you in these emotions and kept you stuck. So really the whole, every time I look at this reading, what I really see is a need for for this forward movement look at them all every single one every not even just one or two but every single one of these cards represents moving forward every one of them and every one of them represents something not not so much the the uh knight of swords but the rest of them all represent something that you'll you're leaving behind all right we're going to leave you know we might leave some of something behind that we thought was of value we might even leave somebody somebody behind who we thought was of value we realize something and this allows us to see what was really in the cups and allows us now to be able to move towards our ace of cups because to me the eight of cups is always moving towards that ace of cups they're always leaving something but the point of it isn't that they're leaving the point is that they're going somewhere new they're going into a beautiful new energy um, I think enough people don't really realize that about the Eight of Cups. Everybody sees it about sad and disappointing card. I see it as leaving the sadness and disappointments behind us and heading towards a beautiful new future. That's the way I see it. And again, full speed ahead, just like we had here. But the full speed ahead pulls out of the park that was on top of the Six of Cups reversed. It's like we get in our vehicle and we leave the dust in the past. That's what it really feels like, like peeling wheels out the driveway of, you know, your life, so to speak. I hope this helps someone. It really has to do with I somebody who's been in that hangman position for a while and it's time to now come out of it and start meeting our goals. And Spirit says, we are going to help you the rainbow behind you that you do not see, that's your spirit team. That is your Archangel Michael. That is your uh, spiritual uh, sacred temple. They're going to help you graduate that and hit a milestone so that you can move into, this is going to be beautiful new energy. They're helping you make a change in your life that's going to be really, really positive. Again, you know, Six of Swords and the Princess of Cups. This is brand new energy, just like this Ace of Cups, just like this beautiful star coming in for you for new, really... Um, high vibration, playful energy, uh, wish fulfillment. It's really nice energy, but it does constitute, you know, dealing with the emotions you've been hanging on to here about something that was imbalanced or unjust in the past. I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for stopping in guys. And thanks for hitting that like Sagittarius. Thank you for all you do for the channel. I appreciate you. Bye.